in the last few months but i heard that for the first time the weekend and that was that was classic <laughs> i'll do that we take whatever, whatever works for you both even <laughs> <laughs> brilliant yeah. do you want to um tell the listeners about where they can find the show and how they can get interact with the show on socials and that yep so on the socials you'll find us at super league pod on twitter and instagram it's facebook.com super league pod uh, if you want to send us an email you can reach us at super league pod at gmail.com uh, you'll find the episode blog posts at super league pod.com uh, you can search for the show on spreaker apple podcasts google Podcasts, podcast addict stitcher or anywhere else you find your audio podcasts but we are on youtube as well uh, as long as you don't mind it just being audio yeah we've got uh tim's back on the show next week and um that reminds me tim's been a bit of a podcast slot uh there's an interview with tim coming up i believe on one of the other rugby league podcasts that uh obviously are friends loosely because we like them all even though we don't know these people personally uh, but dave parkinson's sort of amateur rugby league show uh, 13 pro-am Okay. I think he's. I think there's an episode with Tim coming up on that, based on what I saw on social media over the weekend. And of course, with Tim being in, he'll it, it, give us views on uh, things from the League One standpoint with his role at, at League One Coventry, and things on the community uh, game standpoint with his view at the Pittsanger Panther. Picks what are they called? <laughs> Is it Panthers? I I don't recall. Panther, yeah, Pit Sanger Panthers. I was right. I don't know why I doubted myself. Um, so, yeah. It's getting late. So, we've got that to look forward to from Tim next week. In terms of our partners, we want to thank all of those. Rob's Toy Shop, we want to thank him again. Uh, enter SLP discount at checkout on Rob's Toy Shop on eBay and get 5% cash back on orders over £5, plus give 1% cash back to SLP. Little Warden, vital alerts for hidden issues. Head to littlewarden.com to see what they can do for you. Um, they do website stuff online fixing stuff mascot browns for all your international rugby league gear and um i would say about the link but the link won't work anymore but still buy from mascot browns because they're still our friends um and sarah's bookcase sarah sells usborne books with access to over three thousand titles from baby to teenager there's something for everyone find out more on facebook and do go and check it out because i believe there's been there's been or just about to be some new releases so go to sarah's bookcase search for them on facebook or on twitter and uh and get some books from Sarah. That, that's absolutely yeah. That's it for this week's show. Um, I'm now gonna say goodbye to everyone and then spend a while working out which spelling of hummus I need to use in the uh, episode right up. So <laughs> thanks. Well, to... it's very inclusive. You can spell it however you like, as long as you keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, thanks to Alan uh, for telling us about hummus life and. <laughs> and welcome me into the fold and thanks to all of you lot out there listening um and uh until you hear from us again no how do i finish the show that's how i finish the shorts and we haven't done a short for ages thanks for listening to your favorite rugby league podcast the super league pod how quickly we forget <sighs> stay alert <laughs> Dra- bye How do you want me to spell hummus? Any preference? H-O-U-M-O-U-S or H-U-M-S-U-S? I always spell it H-U-M-M-U-S. Do you? I'd always spell it the other way. Thing is, right... I was hoping we'd get consensus on this. Every time that we come up with something, there's no consensus in this sport. (laughs) Well, you can just fuck off. No, um, because there's a thing like... like, um, It's spelled differently in different different countries spell it differently like the greeks spell it one way and the turkish spell it another way and it's like yeah you know, we know how, how well the greeks and turks get on so um that's fair that's a fair point let's I have think, a look at what I it think... says right okay uh oh hold on what what, what what how do morrison spell it we've got another option here well i've just finished them and thrown them away yesterday so i don't <laughs> if i'm searching sainsbury's for it it's it's always h-o-u-h-o-u-m-u-s Right, here we go. Et- etymology and spelling. Hummus, the H-U-M-S-U-S, comes from the Arabic word hummus, meaning chickpeas, a variant of himis or himis. It may be Aramaic origin, of Ar- Aramaic origin. 
the spelling of the word in English can be inconsistent, though most dictionaries for American and British publishers give hummus, the way you said it, as the primary spelling. Uh, some American dictionaries give homos as an alternative, <laughs> whilst British dictionaries give hummus or humos as alternatives. <laughs> Other spellings include homus, humos, humus, and similar variants. <laughs> While humus, as you. it is spelled in Turkish, is sometimes found, that's just with one M, uh, is generally avoided as it conflicts with another English word that refers to organic matter in soil. Right, okay. We'll go with um, we'll go with the version that comes from the uh, the Arabic word. So the your spelling. <sighs> you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna offend half the world there, but never mind, eh? Hummus. H U M M U S. Hummus life. <laughs> 